Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about the design of underground water tank, underground rectangular water tank. This is the continuation series of this underground rectangular water tank design. This is the part 2 of this series. If you wanted to check the part 1 video, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can check that because the basics are very very important if you know the basic very well so that you can proceed with the design so now let's continue with the design of rectangular water tank in the previous part we had discussed about the conditions two critical cases for designing the rectangular water tank case one is when the tank is full and case two is when the tank is empty because when the tank is full of water we will be having the soil pressure as well as the water pressure when the tank is empty we will be having only the soil pressure on the walls for example see here we have a tank this is the outer side of the wall and this is the inner side of the wall so when the tank is full we will be getting water pressure and this side we will be getting the soil pressure when the tank is empty inner side we don't get any pressure and we will be having only soil pressure on the outer side of the wall first let's start with case one case one is when the tank is full in that first step we need to find out the maximum soil pressure so when the tank is full what is the maximum soil pressure and what is the maximum water pressure these two things we need to find out unit weight of soil is 18 kN per meter cube angle of repose is 30 degree these all the design parameters we have discussed in the part 1 of this series to find out the maximum soil pressure this is the formula gamma h into 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi here gamma is the unit weight of soil and h is the height of the wall and angle is 30 degree we have calculated the dimensions length breadth and depth of the water tank so depth is the height of the tank so that is 1.8 meter so if we apply these values in this formula 18 is the unit weight of soil 1.8 is the height of the tank and 1 minus sine 30 upon 1 plus sine 30 so we get 10.8 kilo newton per meter squared as the maximum soil pressure next one is maximum water pressure we need to find out Unit weight of water is 10 kN per meter cube. Height of the tank is 1.8 meter. So to calculate the maximum water pressure, we need to multiply the unit weight of water with the height of the tank. 10 multiplied by 1.8, we get we get 18 kN per meter square. Next, we need to find out the net maximum pressure. Because in case 1, when the tank is full, we are calculating the maximum water pressure and maximum soil pressure. If you take this one, we need to find out the maximum pressure, net maximum pressure because this side there will be a soil pressure and this side there will be a water pressure. So to find out the net maximum pressure, we need to deduct the water pressure from the soil pressure. So we get 7.2 kN per meter square as the net maximum pressure. Now we have find out the net maximum pressure that is 7.2 kN per meter square. Now we need to find out the maximum bending moment producing tension away from the water side and near the water side. So here if you look in this diagram this is the wall. So this is the maximum bending moment producing tension near the water face and this is the maximum bending moment producing tension away from the water face maximum bending moment producing tension away from the water face so first we are going to find out the tension away from the water face this is the bending moment so pH square divided by 33.5 we know the pressure is this one net maximum pressure 7.2 multiplied by height is 1.8 divided by 33.5 so we get 0.696 kN meter next we need to find out the maximum bending moment producing tension near the water face so for that pH square upon 15 so 7.2 is the pressure and 1.8 is the height so we can calculate and then we got 1.56 kN meter as the maximum bending moment producing tension near the water face we have completed case 1 next case 2 we need to consider the tank is empty case 2 is when the tank is empty first we need to find out the maximum soil pressure so when the tank is empty the total soil pressure will be acting on the wall so maximum soil pressure 
per meter if we calculate we get 18 kilo newton per meter square so we know the maximum soil pressure so in this case we will not be getting the water pressure because the case is when the tank is empty so the pressure will be 18 kilo newton per meter square so in this also we need to find out the maximum bending moment producing tension near the water phase and maximum bending moment producing tension away from the water phase so to find out the maximum bending moment producing tension near the water phase so this consider this as a wall so we are finding out the maximum bending moment producing tension near the water phase so for that we need to use this formula p h square divided by 33.5 we get 1.74 kilonewton meter here the pressure is this one 18 kilonewton per meter square Next maximum bending moment producing tension away from the water phase that is this one maximum bending moment producing tension away from the water phase so we get 3.89 kilonewton meter now for both the cases we have calculated the maximum bending moments so let's tabulate that one in case one the maximum bending moment produced tension near water phase is 1.56 maximum bending moment produced tension away from the water phase is 0.696 kilonewton meter in case two near the water phase it is 1.74 away from the water phase is 3.89 kilonewton meter so now we know the bending moment maximum bending moment for both the cases so among this we need to take the maximum bending moment to find out the thickness of the wall first we need to find out the thickness and then we need to arrive the reinforcement details for the wall so we are designing the outer walls of an underground water tank so the tank must also be designed for cracking stress consideration since it is a liquid retaining structure it has to be designed for cracking stress cracking stress means the actual tensile stress in concrete due to bending moment due to the bending moment what is the actual tensile stress in concrete is developing so that is called cracking stress so we need to take the cracking stress for concrete from the is code tensile stress in concrete is 1.7 newton per millimeter square so from is 3370 part 2 table 1 it is given let me show you that in is 3370 part 2 in table 1 permissible concrete stress in calculations related to resistance to cracking so from this we need to take the tensile stress in concrete due to bending so here direct tension and tension due to bending so we need to consider this tension due to bending for that we need to take the grade of concrete so in our case the grade of concrete is m20 here it is given as kg per centimeter squared we need to convert this one into newton per millimeter square for m20 grade concrete the tension due to bending is 17 kg per centimeter square so if we convert that into newton per millimeter square we get 1.7 newton per millimeter square as tensile stress in concrete we need to find out the moment of resistance by using using this tensile stress in concrete moment of resistance is 1 by 6 f bd squared here f is the tensile stress in concrete so if we solve this we get 0.283 bd squared to find out the thickness of the wall we need to equate the moment of resistance to the maximum bending moment we know in our case uh, the maximum bending moment is 3.89 kilonewton meter that is the bending moment produced tension away from the water phase in case 2 so this we are converting into newton millimeter 3.89 newton millimeter so for that we need to multiply with 10 to the power 6 which is equal to this is the moment of resistance 0.283 multiplied by v is the breadth so we are considering 1 meter that is 1000 mm multiplied by d square so if we solve this we get d is equal to 117.24 mm so provide a thickness of 150 mm so we are getting around 120 mm thickness as the thickness of the wall so let's provide 150 mm as the thickness of the wall so friends in the next part of this series let's start with the calculation of reinforcement i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you like the content hit the like button also share it with your friends and also super thanks button has been enabled in our channel you have to log in into your account and then if you look it, look below the video you will be getting the super thanks button you can just click on that and pay minimum amount to support the channel because we are putting more effort to create these kind of videos so if you want to really support the channel click on the super thanks button and pay the minimum amount and 
support this channel also don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos thank you for watching